Here I have a brand new Acer laptop, just came right off the box. The model is Swift Go 16. It has a 32 gigabytes of RAM, runs on a DDR5, came with one terabyte M.2 SSD drive, and I'd like to do a teardown video. Let's take a look at what is in the computer and see what are the things that we can update, sorry, we can upgrade, um, also maybe like change out the battery, the RAM, the hard drive, things like that. I'll try to uh, show it in this video here. This is the first time I'm taking it apart. I might have some mistake here and there, but I'll try not to make any mistake and I'll walk you through from start to finish. Let's identify the model here. Take a look at the back of the computer. It says SFG16-72T-95LG. So that is the model of this Acer Swift computer uh, model, which is the N24H2. Sorry about that. It's kind of hard to read. All right, so to begin with, I'll be using a Phillips screwdriver. We need to uh, tackle down the back cover here so that we get to see the uh, internal part of it. I already make a mistake on this part. Definitely, we need to have a Torque T5. Yep, looks like a Torque T5 screws here. So using a Torque T5 to remove all the screws and remove the back cover. So far, it looks like all the screws are the same. Okay, once the screws are removed the next step is to remove the back cover so I'll be using a metal prying tool trying to get in between that cover here see if I can pop it open using a plastic prying tool to kind of run ac across the uh, the cover Because the screws are all the same, I'm just going to mix it all in a pile on the side and just remove the back cover. Once the back cover is removed, here you can see a pretty straightforward, they have the two CPU fan exhausting away from the computer. That would be the CPU copper heatsink. All right, this is your Wi Fi. The RAM is actually built in, so the 32 gigabytes DDR5 RAM are not upgradable, are not replaceable. This is a bad example here on the motherboard. I really do not like motherboard that has no built-in slots where you can add additional RAM. If you happen to have a RAM that you want to add additional RAM, or maybe if the RAM is broken, you just get a replacement RAM and you can move on with the computer. Now the way they built it is just like Apple. They want to be embedded into the motherboard. I know it's a bit faster, but that kills the repair business, right? Meaning that if the RAM has gone bad, let's just say one of the chip has gone bad, I can't replace the chip you need to replace the entire motherboard, right? Ma majority of you guys does not have the soldering machine, uh, does not have the tools and the expertise skills to repair or replace the chip itself. So therefore, um, 
I do not really like and if you agree with me uh, please comment down below and if you do not agree with me tell me the reason why you want the RAM to be embedded to the motherboard I like to hear your thoughts of that so for me I like to have the RAM slot where you can add and remove the RAM so for this motherboard that is not a good sign all right move on this is the battery uh, very straightforward to remove the battery you just have to slide the connector down simply slide it down remove the two screws using a Phillips screwdriver and the entire battery will just slide slide out if you're looking for the model for the replacement battery this is the model here Acer AP22A BN that is the model for the battery okay so the next step I like to talk about is the M.2 SSD drive here it comes with one terabyte and if you're planning to upgrade to two or four terabyte you can do so remove that screw lift it up at 45 degree angle and slide it down towards yourself and here it says one terabyte Kingston M.2 SSD drive okay definitely you can uh, change out the uh, to upgrade your M.2 so that is a good sign I'd like to introduce you the USB M.2 adapter so if you are planning to let's just say clone over I'll link it down description below so let's just say this is the original M.2 drive you have your games loaded in there your programs your data your pictures is in the M.2 drive and you need bigger space so you go out get yourself a 2 terabyte or maybe a 4 terabyte how am I going to transfer everything over from here to the new M.2 drive this is what you need a USB M.2 SSD adapter I'll link it down in the description below where you can go to Amazon to get this um, this little device here also I'll link it down in the description below where you can clone cloning process meaning that you're gonna clone everything over from one M.2 drive to a new M.2 drive by simply plugging in your adapter just like such and then you run the program to clone it over once the thing is cloned all you have to do is physically swap your OM.2 with the new 2 terabytes, and you should have all your programs, all your settings, all your data right off the bat. You don't have to do anything. Okay, so if you guys are interested with the cloning, check the link down description below. Okay, so that would be for that reason. Now, where is the little screw let me put it back together before I forgot and uh, keyboard so if you spill anything on the keyboard if the keys are broken well you're not in a good shape why because the keyboard you can see that it is embedded by the manufacturer right onto the palm rest in other words the keyboard is not replaceable if you would have to change the keys you would have to change the whole keyboard itself meaning that you need to remove the motherboard this fan everything have to be disconnected remove this part of the uh, uh, the palm rest this entire keyboard right here would have to be removed as one big piece together and you can transfer the motherboard back to that replacement keyboard so that process is how they are making it right now they don't make just the keyboard itself as a replacement which means costs you a lot more money costs takes a lot of time to do it and not something everybody feel comfortable doing it and again this is not a good idea but I've seen a lot of the keyboards are embedded to the palm rest making repair more difficult all right 
Um, the next step is I'd like to talk about uh, same for the trackpad. The trackpad is the same way of design. So the only thing that can be upgraded is your M.2 drive. The only thing can be replaced would be the motherboard. Pretty much everything can be replaced, okay? But only if you can find the parts for that. So here is your speaker, left and right. And that's pretty much it. There's not much to talk about other than uh, uh, complaining with the design. So um, now you have it with this Acer brand new Swift 16. That's the internal design of it. And hopefully you guys pick up one or two things from here, uh, meaning that to make the decision on whether uh, if this is a good fit for you and whatnot within your budget. So hopefully that explains. And again, if you do find this video is helpful, please go ahead and smash the like button for me. I really appreciate you, you for liking the video. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please, please subscribe to the channel. Um, I make a lot of these YouTube contents about tearing down the computer or talking about what is internal of the computer. And I'd like to hear your feedback, feedback on the RAM. Okay, please remember the RAM. Uh, do you want it to be on the motherboard or embedded to the motherboard? Okay, thanks for watching. Until next time, take care and good luck. Bye now.